Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when we feel like it o'clock. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my edit your pearls of wisdom from PayPal Picks. And uh, yesterday I did a video for my picks, and the audio didn't work. Yeah, that was cool. So this time I made sure the audio was working. Yeah, I took it for granted last time based on the fact that I did the exact same thing as I always do, and uh, it didn't work. So imagine that. Anyways, here we are, and I'm gonna do picks. Because I didn't have any audio, I usually don't do picks on the weekend. I'm going to do picks for you. I'm also gonna tell you what uh, one of the finest in the land, Cappers, has to say. He's not doing videos at the moment with me. Uh, I'm gonna have him on lives from time to time. Uh, put down in the comment section if you want more from Kurt David. But uh, let's go look at the picks for tomorrow. By the way, thank you for running over to Patreon and subscribing to BPAL Picks on there. Uh, we're getting lots of you over there, and it's lovely. You should all come and frolic with us. It's fun. It really is. And so thanks for subscribing. I'm starting to move closer to the $1,000 goal. $1,000? 1,000 subscriber goal, and we want it. My goal is to reach that like now, uh, now, now, about now, you know what I mean? Somewhere around now. So go over there and do that, and that would be great. That would be really, really great. No, it does help out a lot if you hit the like button and all that. They got an algorithm thingy here. Um, I'll send you a My NHL Pearls of Wisdom necklace knitted by Helen herself. Helen herself knits them. And then we put them in a perlocopter, and uh, they go off to all the lands with uh, Helen, or with uh, Melissa and Hernandez. So uh, do that, hit it, and you'll get one from the perlocopter signed by me. Yes. Okay. So tomorrow, I okay. I'll tell you also what I had. Today I went four and three, but all my large pearl picks came in. One of those was Florida over Nashville and the under. And we got it. Florida over Nashville and the under. Yesterday. Or sorry. Yeah, that was today. Well, let's go over that. I had Philadelphia ML. Did not get that. I had Tampa Bay in regulation, got that, under, got that. This is where it went downhill. <laughs> I had Vegas in regulation, got that, also had the under, did not get that. Anaheim San Jose did not get that. So what's that? Uh, one, two picks there, two and one, three, four and one, four and three. Four and five and three, five and three I went. Not too bad. Made money. I didn't have any parlays last yesterday, but uh, tennis picks coming in like freaking crazy. I don't care if you don't like tennis. If you like making money, go over there. I'm hitting like 80%, no, 75. 75% on tennis. Uh, NCAA, uh, we are 5-0. and oh. We haven't missed one yet. And uh, basketball, I think we're 11-8 and eight or something like that. Not our strongest. And uh, we're sitting 65% on NFL. And we're going to have Super Bowl picks tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow, Montreal, Ottawa. Now, Montreal, we all know that you're not going to do that again, like what happened last time, right? Uh, Ottawa, and Mon Ottawa and Montreal both had to fly from Montreal to Ottawa, which isn't that far, to play an afternoon game. They both could be a little on the tired side, although it wasn't a back-to-back, -back, so they should be okay. Montreal is going to be out for bear on this. I believe Hogberg will be in net. Maybe they'll go back to Murray. I'm a little concerned about that. Murray had a really good game. Uh, first game he's had in a long time that was good. I believe Montreal will probably be going with Allen. Uh, I am on the other hand, I am though going to go Montreal in reg. I'm not going to get crazy here. Montreal in regulation over Ottawa. You might want to PL it. It's about two bills. It's hitting two. 
Uh, so that's getting double your money if you go PL on that. As far as the over-under is concerned, I actually like the under on this. Uh, I don't think Ottawa is going to score enough against Allen here. Uh, they got some lucky ones against Price last game. Uh, that Price, it, couldn't call it lucky, but Price should have had him. Uh, Allen has been playing extremely solid. Uh, he seems like in a really good space there in Montreal. I think if they're playing Allen, then uh, I don't think Ottawa will score enough to push this over six and a half. So I am going, what did I said? I, I can tell you what the spread is. Jeez. Minus two, one and a half, 205. Over, just over double your money. And uh, that's through Bodog. Is there anybody higher than that? No, two of Bodog. Go to Bodog. Oh, go to whatever that is. What is that? Sport bet. 208 you're getting. Not too shabby. Sport bet. Okay. This is uh, the Bodog uh uh, what's it called? Odds, odds something or other. Bodog odds. Just Google that. I should know. Odd Shark. It's right there in the corner. I should know that. <laughs> St. Louis and Arizona. Okay. St. Louis crapped the bed last game. What usually St. Louis, St. Louis has not been playing the way they normally do. Uh, injuries. For St. Louis, no, nothing totally significant. Um, I think Kemper should be playing. They'll probably be rolling with Bennington again here. Maybe, maybe they go with the kid. Uh, oh, jeez, I forget his name. If he does, if they do in St. Louis, I'm going to change this and maybe go with Arizona. But as of now. I'll put some light pearls on St. Louis. I'm not really happy about this play. You could PL Arizona. It's not a bad play and put it in a parlay. I may consider that. But as of right now, I'm going to go light pearls on St. Louis. I, uh, Pittsburgh and the New York Islanders. I was leaning Islanders here, but I just found out Latang, and to a lesser, far lesser extent, Matheson is going to be back in the lineup. At least it's going to give some kids uh, some fresh legs in there. But Latang is big. I Jari's been getting a lot of crap here. I don't think Jari's that bad. Can we go to, uh, what's the goalies? Uh, I pr They probably don't have it in there. Tristan Jari and Varlamov. I'm gonna, I'm, I would consider taking the juice on Pittsburgh here. With Latang coming back. Uh, the Islanders have been shaky. Now they haven't played in a while. But they shouldn't have been tired in the first place. And they, the defense after losing Taze and Boychek just not looking right. Uh, I, I'm going to lean Pittsburgh here. And uh, as far as the total. If Pittsburgh wins it should be over. But it's a very difficult play. I'm going to say over five and a half on here. And I'm not sure if I, I'm I'm not sure if I'm going to put that in a, as a play. Toronto, Vancouver. I got to keep on going Toronto. Um, in in here. By the way, I'm giving you all these picks. I'm going to keep on doing it this way and putting out the picks a little later in the day. Tonight I'll be putting it out in the middle of the night, so you'll get them in the morning. I'm doing it assuming that people are have good hearts. Because I do not make money off these bets. I don't bet these bets. It's not because I don't believe in them. It's just for some reason, as soon as I start putting money down on my bet, on my betting, on my on my caps, I start losing. It's weird. It's freaking voodoo. I can't explain it. So if I'm giving you free stuff and you're making money off of it, if you could go over to that Patreon, drop five bucks a month or something like that to keep this rolling. Because if it doesn't work, then I'm going to have to stop. And then you're not going to get free plays anymore. And you're not going to get these amazing hockey picks. So highly recommend you go over there and do that. Anyways, because it's so much fun. Heavy frolic. Heavy frolic, boys and girls. Toronto in reg. I wouldn't be opposed to going PL on this. Uh, Vancouver just looks so bad. Uh, look at that opening. You can get minus one at 225. I like that. 
minus one and a half. They're giving you 225 at minus one. That's beautiful. What is this opening up? I, I got to go check that out. Uh, minus one and a half will pay you 217, 222 at bet online. 225 on five dimes. Look at that. Um, also, I got to go over. I'm just going to keep on going over with Toronto the way they're playing. Uh, by the way, I think Curtis here is going under on this game. So that'll be interesting. I should be telling you what Curtis has got here. Uh, Montreal, he's got Montreal on the puck line. Uh, he's got Toronto and that's it. Uh, we're going into the San Jose game. He has under, which I had in this last game too. I don't know. Anaheim's screwing with my head. I, I think I'm going to fade with them for a bit. I can't tell what they are. Um, I, I think I'm going to fade this game. San Jose score. They were up 3-1. San Jose ended up scoring 2. And now they're playing 3-3 in the third. Uh I seriously cannot see. I think they're going to be playing Miller and Dubnik. Go back to the over. They seem to be going back to over. Go back to the over on this game. And as far as the line, take San Jose PL, I suppose. San Jose PL and put it in a parlay. Uh, Calgary versus Edmonton. I do not know why Calgary... Is let me see what's the money line. I don't know why Calgary's a favorite here. I know Edmonton's on the road, but Calgary has just looked horrible. Uh, and there are some issues going on there. There's going to be some big changes in Calgary, I think. I'm taking Edmonton ML here uh, at 205. Uh, that's, that's a big bet. I, I may change that if they decide to go with a backup goaltender here, uh, which is possible, I suppose, and maybe that's why this is 205, but as of right now, it's not the case. Calgary will probably go in with Markstrom. I can't see them going with a backup goaltender. Let's go take a look for a second. Is this a, is this going to be a back-to-back? -back? Uh, let's see, back-to-back. -back. Oh, look at that. Devin Dubnik is confirmed for that game. Yeah, I would lean the over here. For sure. Lean the over on that game. I might put that in. Koskinen and Markstrom are what's projected. So uh, I'm going to say Edmonton wins. Uh, probably about 4-2. Something like that. Which would be leaning to the under, wouldn't it? If that was the case. So... That's all the games as well, boys and girls. That's what I'm giving you today. I'm pretty sure I got audio. I'll check it before I post it this time just to make sure. I'm going to send everybody a Pearls of Wisdom necklace just for the fun of it. It's all gone. Melissa, oh, they're having a nap. Melissa and Hernandez are having a nap. It's late at night right now. I'm just feeling kind of giddy. And that's it. You're all getting a Pearls of Wisdom necklace. I went to the... Uh, Perlo's house of spanking today because I had a bad, I was like two for five day before yesterday. So I went to the Perlo's house of spanking, got myself all figured, went five and three. See how it works? Go to your, go to your local spanking and, uh, establishment, get yourself a spanking every once in a while. I'm telling you, it goes a long way. Until next time which you won't be getting picks tomorrow unless you're on the Patreon, then you will, because I'm not doing picks. I'm not doing a video tomorrow night. Not going to do it. In fact, I normally wouldn't be doing it on weekends, but my Friday one had no audio, so I gave it to you. You got, you got kind of lucky, I suppose, uh, I guess, because I'm going to kick ass tomorrow, boys and girls. I am going to. I had my spanking, feeling good. All the Oh, by the way, that was true. All the Montreal Canadiens, we went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth from Ottawa. We got them all out here. They all got their spankings at Perlo, Perlo's House of Spanking. So they're going to kick ass, right? How are they not? They must. They, they will. Price. Price, was the, one, Price had the, was the biggest tipper of the bunch, by the way. 
price. He is one generous fellow. Have a great day, everybody. Lots of love to ya. That's my full 42. Okay, bye.